Today, I will talk about plugins for After Effects, which ones are worth using and which ones you can skip. Let's figure it out. As must have, these are the best plugins you absolutely need. They are used by a huge number of editors in their video projects. A highly useful, here I'll add plugins that are frequently used and genuinely helpful. B nice to have, this is for plugins that are good to have and can sometimes add value. They aren't necessarily worse than the ones above, they are just not as widely used. C Citation, these are plugins that aren't used often, but can be essential for certain cases to achieve the best results. AE Pixel Sorter. Pixel Sorter is a very interesting plugin for creating abstract effects by sorting pixels. It's often used in experimental projects, but may not be as helpful for everyday work. I know this effect was used in the Sicko Mode clip, and it looked appropriate and very unusual. I once made a video about this effect and created it from the clip. It's an older video, but you can watch it on my channel. This isn't a tool you'll use in every project, but if you want to add something unusual, it's perfect. I place it in C tier. BCC. BCC isn't just one plugin, it's a full suite with tons of tools for video editing. It literally has everything. To be honest, I don't have much to say about it. I think BCC isn't as versatile as Sapphire, but it's a great solution for most tasks. A lot of people use it, including me, I place it in A tier. If you need not only plugins, but also projects to learn how to create animations or other digital products, visit my website. Deepglow. As much as I criticize this plugin, I have to admit it's really good. Personally, I don't use it often, but it has many fans who only use this glow effect. It's like an upgraded version of AE's standard glow effect, which I use frequently, but trust me, the difference is noticeable. The plugin has realistic lightning effects that look more natural than the standard AE effect. However, sometimes it can make the image look a bit blurry. You should try it in your projects, it's good, but not enough to be in S tier. So I'll place it in A tier. Depth of Field. Depth of Field is an effect that helps blur the background to create a camera-like effect. After Effects has a built-in tool for this, Camera Lens Blur, but if you need more settings for a better result, this plugin or effect can be useful. It's needed in specific situation, like creating a miniature effect. Otherwise, this effect is often added during filming. Definitely C tier. Depth Scanner. This plugin analyzes image depth and creates a depth map to use with depth of field. They are closely connected. In most projects, it's not as needed as depth of field, but if you have to work with depth manually, it's useful. Also, C tier. Element 3D. This is one of the best plugins you can and should use in After Effects. With Element 3D, you can add a 3D object to your project and create 3D animations in minutes. But that's not all, you can also apply textures to the object. All you need is a 3D model, which you can import with a single click. If you need to use 3D in your projects and improve your videos, this is the best solution. Definitely S tier. FX Console. Effects Console is a useful tool for simplifying work with plugins and effects in AE. It allows you to quickly search for FX using hotkeys. It saves a lot of time, especially if you use the search often. It's not mandatory, but if you work with FX a lot, it speeds up the process significantly. It's free, so you can just use it for convenience. I'll place it in B tier because it's helpful, but not essential. Glitchify. If you need glitch effect in your video, Glitchify is a great solution. It creates destructive pixelated effects that are preferred for abstract content. It looks unique and is worth using for specific tasks, but it's definitely not needed in every project. It's hard to say it's a must have, so I'll place it in situational tier. MBL or Magic Bullet Looks. MBL is a plugin for color correction. It lets you quickly apply various color styles, which is especially useful for YouTube content or other videos where visual styles matters. Many use it for color correction in edits. It's convenient for quick and high quality color quitting if the basic lumetri color isn't enough. It's 100% the best plugin for color correction, so it goes to S tier. Lens Flayer. This plugin adds realistic lens flayers and lightning effects. It's great for creating cinematic effects that enhance your video's atmosphere. 
It has plenty of settings, letting you customize flare types and intensity. It's not used very often, so I can't place it too high. It belongs in B tier. RSMB. This is one of the best, if not the best, plugins for creating natural motion blur. It's a must if you want realistic motion blur for animations or videos. The built-in CC first motion blur effect is a poor alternative. Somehow, RSMB just works better, adding smoothness without distortions when configured correctly. This plugin is definitely S tier because nothing beats it for motion blur. Subfire. Honestly, I don't know anyone who doesn't know about this plugin because every other editor in After Effects uses it. Subfire gives you a ton of effects, including filters, glows, shakes, and many other useful tools. This suite offers endless possibilities for video editing. It's like a Swiss knife for editors. It's so versatile and multifunctional that it belongs in S tier. Now you know which After Effects plugins are worth using and which you can skip. Of course, every plugin has its own features and much depends on your needs. All the plugins I mentioned can make your videos more professional. But remember, creativity always wins over tools. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And see you soon.